about these teams have been selected. I don't know the reason why. Is going to play this competition, hypothetical competition, in the future. And and a sport is <laughs> not a sport when the relation between the effort and the success, the effort and reward, doesn't exist. Don't exist. So it's not a sport. So it's not a sport of the success is already guaranteed. It's not a sport that it doesn't matter if you lose. That's why I said many times, I want the best competition as strong as possible. So especially the Premier League. And it's not fair when one team uh, fight, 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 arrive at the top and after cannot be qualified because the success is, is already guaranteed for just for few clubs. In this statement is what I feel. I don't know it's going to change and the people say, no, no, maybe four or five teams can go up and can play these competitions. But what happened in the last 14, 15 play, not good, good season, good season, and every time will be there. So this is not a sport, it's another issue. Jürgen, not too long ago, you said you hoped there wouldn't be a Super League. What are your, what are your thoughts, what are your feelings today? Didn't change, didn't change since that, my feelings, my, my, my opinion didn't change. Obviously, uh, I heard first time about it yesterday, and you know, when you try to prepare a game like uh, a very difficult game against Leeds United, um, and then you, so far, uh, we got some information, not a lot, to be honest. Um, most of the things you more or less can read in newspapers um, or wherever, and um, yeah. It's a, it's a tough one. Uh, people are not happy with, with that. I can understand that. Um, but I cannot a lot more say about it, to be honest, because we don't, we were not involved in any, in any, any processes, not the players, not me. We didn't know about it. Now, it, now it, that's, the, I think, the case or the fact. The facts are out there. And now um, we will have to wait how it develops. Just as a football man, Jürgen, what are your, what are your own instincts? On oh, I'm uh, 53 years old, I'm, and since I'm a, prof as a professional player, the Champions League was there, so I think, I'm not sure, 93 or something like that, since then it's the Champions League. And my aim was always, as a player it was not possible, as a manager it was always the aim to, 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 to coach a team there. So I have obviously no issues with the Champions League. I, I like the competitive um, factor of football as well. So I like the fact that West Ham might play Champions League next year. Um, no problem. I, I don't want them to, to be honest, because we want to do that. But um, I, I like the that they have the chance and all these kind of things. So yes. Um, what can I say? It's 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 really it's really not easy. What I want to say as well is, um, I, I heard a few things, but what I really don't like is because of, uh, Liverpool football group is, uh, is much more than some, than some decisions have, and uh, football football is the most important part of a football of football are the supporters and the team, and we have to make sure we have to make sure that there's no that, that really nothing gets in between that because I heard we put banners down at, at Anfield or stuff like this I don't understand that because the, the players didn't do anything wrong when we didn't win all the games but we go with the, with, with everything and how he said we want to qualify for the Champions League next year so um, we have to stick together and when other people from other clubs use our anthem against us I don't like that as well as well so we can show that we that nobody has to walk alone in these moments so there are things we, we have to sort obviously but um, that has nothing to do with the football nothing to do with the relationship between the supporters and, and the team that's for me really important because uh, in tough times you have to show that you really stick together that doesn't mean you have to agree to everything but again the boys didn't do anything wrong apart from not winning all football games and so I really want to make sure that everybody knows that it's such a difficult situation isn't it but you can understand the fans frustration yeah, yeah. No, I understand it. I understand how I said. I, I get that, but I'm, I'm, I'm in, a, in a different position. So it's in a different position. So I don't have all informations. I don't know exactly why why the 12 clubs um, did it. I, I know some things will change in the future in football. Some things have to change in football. That, that's for sure as well. Um, the, how the power, where the power is and stuff like this, that's not right. UEFA cannot just decide things as well. The FIFA cannot decide things. Everybody plans new competitions. UEFA wants the Champions League. They showed it to me. I, to, I told them there are more games in, so I don't like it. But months ago. And they anyway do it. I don't expect that I don't do it only because I don't like it. But they showed it to me and it happens anyway. It's always more games, more games. And 
for the UEFA, it's for money. If you tell about the clubs, it's about money. What do you think? About it's with UEFA about. The FIFA wants a club World Cup whenever that should be, but should happen. So it's about money, nothing else. And all these kind of things. So it happens. It's not only these clubs. And things will change and some things have to change. But usually you have to prepare these kind of things. So like it needs time and convincing. convincing. But one thing um, I can understand that the people think that's not right is uh, the competitiveness. I, I get that. I get that. Um, I said that before. I don't like that we, that we maybe not will be in the Champions League, but if we earn it, we want to be there, like anybody else. I know it since yesterday. I know it since yesterday. Um, but um, you know, I'm here to be to be in the to be in the hardest competition. That's why I came here. That's what I love to play the toughest competitions in Europe. With uh, um, that's why I'm at Chelsea's. Um, as you know, I don't get involved too much with all the subjects around us. I'm a bit sad that the, all these subjects are there now, because normally I thought we can talk about the Man City game and more important, the, the Brighton game. This is maybe not the case today. But uh, as you know, I'm, uh, I'm part of this club. I want to play these hard competitions and I trust my club to make the right decisions. And I think it's uh, too early to judge everything, and um, and uh, it's it's not my my part. On my badge from from Chelsea, it says I, I I have to play my role. Everybody has to play his role, and my role is to be a coach, and to be focused. And we have an important game coming up tomorrow. Tell me, what's what, what's the reaction been like among among the players? What are, what are they saying about it? Um, the Premier League has made it pretty clear that you know. Being involved in the Super League would mean not playing in the Premier League. FIFA and UEFA say they wouldn't be able to play international football. What are they saying? Yeah, I think there are a lot of, of comments, a lot of uh, arguments and a lot of opinions out there. And I absolutely don't want to get involved to it because I simply don't know the details. I, I, know, I know the situation, the general situation. Uh, since yesterday, like I said, but uh, I have to play my role. I, I trust my club. I haven't seen the players yet. Uh, we train today a bit later because we have a late game tomorrow. So we decided to push the schedule a little bit to give them more time to for, for, for the recovery process after our tough match against Manchester City. And that's pretty much it. I think uh, the best thing is to stay calm and, and, and to try to focus on our match, which is maybe now a little bit more different than, than it was before. Hola, buenas tardes. Hola. Le voy a hacer una pregunta muy directa, porque se lleva hablando desde el domingo por la noche. ¿Qué le parece a usted la Superliga? Entonces te voy a contestar muy directo también, ¿sabes? Eh... <laughs> Eso es una cuestión de, de una persona, del presidente, y yo estoy aquí para el partido de mañana, entonces, y es muy bien que tú la preguntas, porque cada uno tiene su opinión, pero yo no estoy aquí para hablar de eso, yo estoy aquí para hablar de todo lo que quieres del partido de mañana, de la Liga, de la Champions, de todo lo que quieras, el resto no es, no es mi, mi, mi trabajo. Te repito, soy entrenador y estoy... Eh preparado para entrenar donde me, 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 me digan y evidentemente no tengo ninguna duda que el club decidirá lo mejor para, para nosotros. Speaking of European competitions, I'm sure you know, whilst this game was being played out, news has broken of a potential so-called Super League. Yes. Manchester United is one of the clubs who signed up to support it. What can you tell us that you know about the proposals? I've seen this morning, uh, as you, uh, the news about the, and the speculation, so I can't really really say too much. My focus has just been on this game and uh, I got the, the news today as well. I understand it's limiting what you can say. We've asked yeah. for somebody else from the club yeah. to speak to us. So far that hasn't happened. But do you understand at all what the proposals might mean for you and your players? I, don't, I haven't looked into it. I've been just focusing on this game, so I just need to sit down and uh, see what it is. And uh, the, the club will probably uh, comment on it later. Would it worry you if I tell you that both UEFA and the Premier League said potentially they would stop Manchester United playing in the Premier League and stop clubs who sign up to it 
from playing internationally? As I said, I've, I've not seen any, so I don't really uh, know all the ins and outs. So I need to find out, and uh, then the club or the clubs can uh, issue a comment, probably. Totally understand your position, yeah. Ollie. I appreciate yeah. you talking yeah, to us. Yeah, cheers. No worries. Thanks, Ollie.